Hello everyone, welcome to Tesla Street channel. In today's video, I want to show you the, the colorizer update where you can customize the, uh, the color of your car and you know the paint type of your car on the screen. So the best part of owning, one of the best part of owning a Tesla is you know visualizing uh, your own car uh, while you you know drive and then you know looking at all the cars around with your car highlighted in the middle uh, and uh, i think that's one of the things it's known for so recently uh, tesla sent out a software update where it would allow you to customize the color of the car and being a beta tester uh, we received such updates a little slow because uh, uh, the beta version is up to speed on the latest uh, autopilot stuff but not so much on the other software updates so if you're not in the beta programmer uh, you would have uh, received the colorizer update quite a, a, f a few months back but then for us uh, we received it recently so i thought i'll share my experience with that and i've seen a lot of tesla owners uh, get a different wrap around their uh, car uh, you know it and some of them are pretty cool so now they have an option to match the interior uh, display as well uh, with, with their exterior so this is a really cool feature for them so to uh, so this is how you use the, uh, you know, how you can customize your car. So you can click on the three dots here, and then that's the hidden collapse menu when search for toy box. Uh, if you have recently opened toy box, it'll also show up under the recent menu uh, here. So once you click on that, uh, if you are familiar with toy box, Tesla has a lot of Easter eggs in this. Uh, at I think I've talked about uh, a few of them, but I'll, I'll show the others in, uh, in a separate video. But the first one you'll see is called the colorizer. And then it tells you, uh, you can change the color of the car, car's exterior and adjust, adjust the paint style. So you can click on customize and then it brings up a color palette where you can select uh, whichever, current, uh, whichever color you want, uh, out of all the rgb you know settings and then you have the paint type selection which is, which can be solid metallic or matte and then the trim which can be chrome or black so when i got my car for example my um, exterior had a chrome and i ended up doing a chrome delete uh, myself so that's how a chrome so that was my default color scheme when when i got the car so now i have uh, my setting set up to match my exterior with just the black uh, and you know chrome deleted black so if i select that again you'll see it'll it changes to um, black and then once you uh, set it up you can click the plus icon here what that does is it uh, saves that as a template so you can save a few templates here so if you want to quickly change between one or two colors that's an option so let's say i want to do a dark blue color and you can see the color change on the on the screen as well in the car so if i select maybe something like that and then try metallic that's so let me show you the difference so that's solid uh, paint type metallic matte matte finish so let's go with matte finish and then i'll leave it as black but just to show you that's how the chrome would look like this is black and then you've customized it so what you can do is add that as an option and it'll show you uh, the the quick overview so this is a blue color and uh, you know you have black uh, trim selection and then matte finish if you want to quickly go back to your default settings you see uh, the same color template here so that's the button you'll use to change it to default so if i click on that it'll take me back to my default like i said uh, a black my black tesla with chrome trim so let me uh, select a different one um, let me bring it up to yellow i think Let's try a yellow. Don't like that. Let's see which color I like the best. I think this looks interesting, like a neon green, maybe. And then I'll try metallic or matte. Let's do met metallic. 
so the best part is if you put your card in drive now you have uh, that color scheme selected and that's how you'll see your visualization as right so that's that's pretty cool and another thing to note is uh, once you change your color uh, on your uh, uh, Tesla, it, it immediately syncs it up on your phone. So this is how it, you, if you can see, it's already uh, green there if I open my phone up. And I also share, I'll also share a screenshot of the color I just changed. So I have the app open on my phone and you see this, it matches up the blue uh, scheme that we set up the color scheme. And then now if I change it to green, uh, it changes here and then it should immediately change here as well there you go so that's so now you have green all over if i change it back to my uh, my current setup that's black and then it immediately changes to black it's pretty cool that they immediately sync up everything uh, and if you want to get rid of a template uh, you what you can do is uh, press and hold uh, the template and then you'll see the the x uh, the cross icons show up so whichever you don't want you can just click on that and then it'll delete the template and click out uh, of uh, click anywhere else on the screen and then you're outside of the delete option so hope you like that video and uh, it gave you some info about the uh, colorizer feature that tesla recently sent out in the software update uh, and uh, yeah i'll see you in the next one bye